reason being is how are your straps right now? How would you want to deploy this, right? You've got to slow down and think, how am I going to deploy this thing, right? Those are the type of conversations. So, we're going to talk about burning hose. There's no reason why this is a little bit bigger, but it gives you a good reference point. If this is a smaller yard, we didn't have as much of a footprint. I don't need a hundred foot of hose. A lot of guys do a drop right here and charge, but what's that line going to do with the charge? It's going to spin. Maybe this is a push point. But we'll have to avoid that. We have a sidewalk that we can do plenty of work with, right? So go ahead and break your straps. And we need to decide which one's our supply and which one's our attack. So there's the attack and supply. So what I'm gonna do, if I was your PO, where I come up and I didn't see this done yet, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna grab this, and I'm just gonna go this direction, right? Until I see that move. Now, you can go straight forward with just your nozzle and your uh, 25 foot mid mark. We're just gonna keep the coupling right here. Stop. So if this was that smaller setback, that smaller house, we've got all the hose in the world we need. Now if we need to bring more hose up, say we did this scenario on this house, there's nothing wrong with it. But so now what we have right here. We got that pistol. So how would we fix that? Up. The fastest way is to move hose by the mid arm or a couple. Thought process. 